Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Why didn't you wake me? Tracy and James should be back any minute now. You asked me not to disturb you, sir. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. Hi, Richard, are you there? Okay, you probably don't want to talk to me right now, I get that. It's just, your column, for editing, can I expect it today? If not, Troy can take care of it. Okay, so, see you tomorrow, and don't worry, everything will work out. better. Okay, Frank. What's with the cleaner? Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? What's with the damn cleaner? Let's see. Something's in the filter. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. How late is it now? 8.30 p.m. Damn, where is she? Maybe you should call her parents. Jenny. Richard. <laughs> Good to hear from you. Hey, Steve told me you're in hospital. Is... is everything okay? Sort of. An accident. I have to regroup a little. Listen, Jenny, is Tracy at your place? Um, no. <laughs> Why? She said she was taking James to her parents' place. She should have been back by now. Oh, well... she's not here. I haven't heard from her in days, actually. Have you tried calling her parents directly? I wanted to ask you first before I bash my head against a wall with Herman. You know how he is. Did Tracy say anything to you in the past few weeks? Did she, you know, did she say anything that I should be aware of? No. Oh, come on, Jenny. I know you're best friends, but I'm worried about her. Okay. Of course, she told me that things weren't so good between the two of you. Uh-huh. But the, she's been saying that for ages, and I'm sure you know that, too. <laughs> Does she want to leave me? Did she say that? Did she? God, Jennifer, don't make me squeeze it all out of you. Well, she thinks you're having an affair. So she does want to leave. I don't know, Richard. Are you having an affair? <sighs> no. Is there anything I can do to help you? I have to go, Jenny. Say hi to Steve. See you later. 
Maybe you should call her parents. Any idea what this is about? No, sir. Is there something wrong with it? Tracy didn't mention anything? No, sir. Central, you are speaking with bot 3452-1. Search for person. Understood. Please state surname, first name, and age of the person you are searching for. Nolan. Tracy. 39 years old. Nolan. James. 7 years old. Understood. Please hold. Your search has yielded no results. The persons you are looking for are not in care. How far back does the information go? You require security level 2 to access archival information. Okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Maybe you should call her parents. Richard. Evening, Herman. Richard, listen, now is not a good time. I know. It never is. I just wanted to know if Tracy's still there. Tracy? No. Okay. And when did she leave? She wasn't here, Richard. Not today, not this week. But why did she say... You know, Richard, maybe she finally left you. You would love that, wouldn't you? Well, if you ask me, she should have dumped you ages ago. She deserves better than you. So she wasn't there. Maybe something's happened to her. Do you even care? Richard, I know my daughter. She's fine. And when she finally ends it with you, she'll be even better. Oh, come on. Cut the crap. You called. Whatever. Have a nice evening. Were you listening? She is not at her parents. Or at the hospital, either. Can you explain that to me? Where is she? Where is my son? I cannot provide you with any information about that. You damn things save everything else. I retained the information that your wife intended to visit your parents-in-law. But she didn't! Did Tracy meet someone? When she left, was there anyone with her? There was a man. A man? Who? What was his name? I can't say anything about that, sir. I want to see your memory module. Only authorized personnel from Kurt's labs are allowed. Nonsense. Open the slot. I apologize, sir. I do not have the authority to open it. Fine. Then I'll do it. You won't be able to open that, sir. You need the calibration key. It must be here somewhere. That must be it. There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city. Being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him. Every day. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. Hey, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Are you done? For today. We will see him tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Sure. No problem. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. What kind of questions? Doctor-patient confidentiality. Okay.
Look, fish. Can I feed them? Use your snack, but keep something for yourself. They always swim in the same pattern. A perfect circle. It just seems that way. I would like to be a fish for a change. Someday, it'll be possible. Someday? Maybe. For certain. I'd rather take the train. Okay. You're right. One accident is enough. Adam, where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. Adam, I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. <laughs> what can I say? Without you, my independence areas are half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Did I miss something important while I was gone? Oh, yeah. Let, let's talk about work. Something important. Wait. Project Independence will save us all. The World Union is guaranteeing peace. Governor Kane is a source of all sunshine, and we bow to him. No, everything's the same. Tomorrow, you're coming in. Shaved and showered. Got it? Uh, got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. It's Monday, and you are watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome to the present. Come Sunday, it will be time. A milestone of our age. Project Come and visit Liquid Sky. Richard Kane. You there, do you like art? Hello, any plans for Sunday? Liquid Sky is unveiling a new artwork. Oh, I think Amy said something about that. You should definitely go. It's worth it. John, do you want to let a light bulb fly? No. Oh, come on. It's fun. Give me one. An old-fashioned as usual, sir? Or can I tempt you with a sunrise? You once had this horrible cocktail. We have Batita, City 2 Sunrise, Daiquiri, Gin, Mai Tai, Old Fashioned, Sour, and Vesper. No, it had a different name. Are you unsatisfied with selection? No, no, it's just... Sir? No. Maybe I'm confusing it with some other place. John? Adam? Mom?
Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? Here, uh, this... Well, I thought you'd... For me? Oh, so... Did you get this from the jewelry assembler down the street? Well, yeah. <laughs> I just thought... Uh... No, it's... It's really sweet. Greek fret. Yeah, it has, um... Yeah. Thank you, Adam. You're a darling. You're looking less pale. Thanks, I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? No, I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. <laughs> oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again, I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. Is everything really okay? Why? Nothing. Keep playing. Good night then, John. Night. Memory Lane. Have you been chatting to Grandpa again? Amy said I can. It's just a program, you know. It's not really Grandpa. I know. It's just a pile of thoughts that he might have once had. Nothing more. I like hearing his voice. Grandpa's funny. Yeah, he was. Sometimes. But you can talk to us, you know. I know. To Amy and me. I know. How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Midi Central called us. To... We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh, yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Are you looking for something? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth.
Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've gotta go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Hey man, hold up. Yo, passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins, Jace here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Wait, don't I know you? Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities so scared, improve the lives of, of future generations. Yeah, you, you won't even notice. Look at the radiologists. Sir, do you have children? Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. I don't have... Big pack! Sir, and you should consider taking ah, it time. At least someone's keeping this business alive. Didn't you leave for Mars? Make a new start and all that? Yeah, Nolan. I got myself scanned. I guess that's stupid to you. I do have my principles. And I do have quite a mortgage. Welcome, Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor 247. Good morning. Morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh huh. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. Richard! Come on, let's take a look at you. Carrie, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Hey, you, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. Y you're not splitting up, are you? Splitting up? Of course not. Okay. What's that supposed to mean, okay? Did Tracy say something? Well... Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight. It happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Look. Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents. She's not at the hospital. 
Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. A base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay, that's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Richard? I'm ready. There's Richard. Hey, all good? Hey. In Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone. Morning. Mr. Nolan. Yes? I wanted to introduce myself. Not now, please. I'm busy. Uh, but I... Later, okay? Okay, fine. Hey, Richard. Long time no see. Be Richard, come in. Man, what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh-huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? You can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand... Fine. Got it. You're a man with an agenda. What we need are journalists. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey, we're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. made you so peeved. Hey, what's up? Something happened? Did Frank put you on some crappy job? No. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out, but with a short-term freelance contract. That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. 
So you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. It's done. And? What's on it? Show me. Okay, fine. that idiot doing in my apartment? It looks like he's helping Tracy pack her things. He's speaking to my boy. I'll kill him, Steve. I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... this... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure. I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I can't check that. Maybe we can. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. Richard, move scan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. We just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you gonna get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. The boys are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. You need something? Hmm, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, uh, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name? What for? I like to know who I'm doing business with. 
Okay, fine. Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax, I just wanna... Listen to me, cop. Next time you wanna pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. 